Welcome to the wonderful world of IFR. You may have had friends who've told you horror stories about how hard it is to fly on instruments. Well, they're wrong. What is difficult, though, at first, is trying to get used to the idea of flying your airplane solely by reference to instruments. So you might ask, why all the big deal about using your flight instruments when you're in the clouds? Can't you just use the physical sensations and clues you've been using all along when flying VFR? Well, actually, no, you cannot. The problem is the human body isn't really designed to fly. And there are forces acting on you in an airplane that you don't get when you're on the ground. Your body reacts to these forces and gets very confused about whether you're climbing or turning or descending. This is called spatial disorientation or vertigo. And when it occurs in an airplane, it can actually make you feel ill. Our bodies have basically three sensory systems for orientation. Visual, meaning our eyes. Motion sensing through the inner ear. And position sensing through the nerves in the skin, muscles, and joints. This is also called the kinesthetic sense. Vision is the sense we normally use to know which way is up and which way is down, and to keep ourselves oriented. And this works great on the ground or in day VFR conditions in the air, where we simply look at our outside visual references. But if it's dark, or the visibility is poor, or as an instrument-rated pilot, you're in the clouds and you don't have outside visual references, well, you lose your ability to orient yourself this way. What about your ability to sense motion through the inner ear? Well, in flight, the inner ear system is stimulated by the motion of the aircraft and also by your own head and body movements. Among other things, the inner ear system reacts to centrifugal force as if it were gravity, giving you very inaccurate indications of what's happening to the airplane. So then, how about our kinesthetic sense, the ability to sense our position through nerves in the skin and muscles? This is sometimes called seat of the pants flying. But the problem is the seat of your pants or your body signals, well, it lies to you when you're in an airplane like your inner ear does. Now, seat of the pants flying does have a certain allure, recalling as it does the romantic years of early aviation. But remember that of the airmail pilots who flew solely by the seat of their pants, hardly any survived five years of service. As you can see, it doesn't really matter how much of the right stuff you have. You can't get your body to tell you the truth when you're in the cloud.